So last stop of the day, it's been a crazy day of uh, running around and shooting with uh, different providers, but Kim is our last stop and we are going to take a break with her and Paige is going to get a uh, wonderful massage. Miss, uh, Kim is a massage therapist that goes to patients' homes uh, and she is transitioning uh, from being a massage therapist into a practicing psychotherapist who will be providing therapy for her patients. So uh, it's interesting because my sister is a massage therapist and uh, the physicality of being a massage therapist can be grueling on the body. Uh, you can imagine the physical manipulation. So we're going to see what uh, Kim can work out on Paige, work out a few kinks, and that'll be a wrap for the day. The big difference between this and Washington, D.C. is I know pretty much every street in Washington, D.C. out here. It's new and fresh to me, but there's a lot of physical distance. I would say for these providers, it's, it's more challenging because they need to carefully ration how they can get to patients and in between scheduling but I would say it's unique. I think there's definitely a lots of opportunity out here for practitioners to practice in a way that's gonna be uh, of benefit to their patients and their community. Here we are. I'm not even going to pretend to pronounce where we are, so I'm going to let you do the, the honors. Yes, we're in Snoqualmie, Washington. Excellent, fantastic. And I'm uh, with Kim today. Uh, she is a licensed uh, massage therapist. How long have you been doing this? Uh, I've had my own business about five years. Excellent. And you've been doing it all here right in front of these wonderful falls every, every day. day. <laughs> <laughs> this is my office. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Well, that's the whole thing. You actually go to where the patient is as opposed to the patient having to come to you. And the value of that is that patients actually get to, you know, relax in their own home and yes. thoroughly enjoy the massage that you're providing, which is the therapeutic. But Tell me a little bit more, how did you get in this space and what has it been like for you? Well, um, I started out with being in athletics and in health for all my life, cheered in, back in college, um, and just always knew I wanted to work in the healthcare space in some form and capacity. Yeah. Um, so it's been a long journey to get here, but decided after my divorce and having three kids that I would go into massage therapy school ah, and become a licensed massage therapist. Uh -huh. So I absolutely love it. I feel it's such a value to the client. Absolutely. It's very holistic, mm -hmm. natural way of treating people. Absolutely. And human touch is a big part of what I do as a physician, which I think uh, when you're in a brick and mortar and you're stuck in a confined box, it, mm -hmm. it makes people uncomfortable but also you separate yourself from the person, whereas you really, to really heal, you really need to actually engage physically with the, the client. And because yes. you wouldn't know how much attention someone would have unless you actually Touched dug them. in. And exactly. so, yeah. And so I think it's fantastic. I certainly have benefited from massage. Uh, my sister was a massage therapist for a long time. The physicality of it is so intense that it can be very grueling. And I, I think sometimes people don't really know how much a massage therapist really puts all of their effort into it. Uh, but yes. tell me a little bit more, <laughs> you know, you're training for this, but what uh, ultimately gave you the opportunity to actually uh, reach out to clients and offer it in their home? Well, when I set up my business, I just in my mind knew that I wanted to be a mobile massage therapist. Um, there's not a lot of us out there. Yep. Yep. And there's a lot of people that I actually work with, clients that can't leave home or it's very difficult. They're in wheelchairs or yep. they have trauma. We have uh, war veterans or people that have anxiety of yep. even leaving the house. Yep. So it gives me more of an opportunity to help everyone. Excellent. And like you said, in a comfortable environment, yep. it's a very intimate type of uh, health care. Yep. And it gives them a chance to relax. And then they don't have to get in the car and drive after their massage. They're home, <laughs> yeah, exactly. right? They can just uh, get in a drift. bath or, you <laughs> exactly. know, uh, yeah. whatever they choose to do yeah. after, but they can continue with that relaxation. Yeah, and that's very much the part of, uh, you know, as a physician going in is 
they're inviting me into a sacred place, their home, which you know is very vulnerable. But in doing so, it really allows me to do more in one house call than I ever could do in a clinic. And I think that's something, you know, an art form that was lost and now we have an opportunity to bring it back. But what's really important for me is being able to be part of a team. Right. So I, I've certainly had clients that were homebound that, you know, really needed to have massage therapy. Mm -hmm. In fact, I have one now who is on hospice okay. and uses massage therapy as a, a means to be able to get through the pain that she's experiencing. And without it, I don't, you know, I know she would suffer more. Yes, I work with several cancer patients. Exactly. That um, you can't, I can't really do massage throughout their chemo. If they're getting that form of treatment, there are some contraindications, yeah. but prior to certain therapies or yeah. some radiation, definitely can still continue to work with them. And it's so beneficial. Yeah, yeah. So beneficial. And it, you know, it's, it's comfort, you know, it, it, especially in the time of need. You yeah. know, to have you come out or and see your friendly face and then, you know, and the same, you know, coming out, uh, anybody who knows how to care, I don't really care, you know, uh, whether it's a nurse or an aide or a massage therapist, as long as they have the basic premise of wanting to care for people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that, that is something that, you know, I think we all can embrace. The whole purpose of what we're trying to do is connect with others, such as yourself, and you know, start to plant the seeds so that there are there are things that people may not consider. There are alternatives. You know, mm -hmm. massage therapy is one that wouldn't normally pop up. They think of healthcare, and you know, they, that would be probably the last thing that they would think of. But it's vital. You know, and I like to think of it as you know, combining different treatment modalities in an alternative way mm -hmm. that really meets what the core needs of the patient is, what their belief of health is, as opposed to here, take this pill when really all they need is a good massage, right? Exactly. Yeah. There's so, so much power to touch. Oh, yeah. yeah. It just creates all the good hormones and Absolutely. everything that we need. And yeah. it's especially after coming off a year of COVID, oh. there's been such a need for people just to have that human interaction and yeah. touch and yeah. care, being cared for. I know. Just the level of uh, depression, anxiety, and you know, substance use as a result of this pandemic has been catastrophic. Mm -hmm. And people are coming out of their shell now, uh, and we have a long way to go. But, and we have, a, uh, we have a wonderful participant who's come along graciously, and so that you can show us your art, and she can to. benefit from that as Perfect. well, because we've had a very grueling day shooting uh, all day, getting out there, getting the story. Hi there, good to see you. How are you doing? It's nice to see you. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Okay, so I'll have you take your shoes off and let me know what's, what are you feeling? What's going on with your body today? What, uh, what, what areas do you feel like you're holding tension or what is it that you need to get out of today's session? shoulders, neck, upper back. Okay. All right. Great. Well, I'm going to have you start face down for me today. So you can go ahead and get on the table. I'll get you all. So face down with your head in the face cradle. Go ahead and put your arms down by your side for me. How does the neck rest feel? Are you comfortable? Uh, it could be, uh, it could be up, a up a little. Okay. Come on and move forward a little bit on the table for me. There you go. Is that a little better? Yeah. Okay. Are you comfortable, Paige? I want you just to take some big, deep breaths and relax. And you let me know how pressure is, okay? If it's too much or if you need more. If you have any pain, also let me know that, okay? Doing okay? How's that pressure? Is that okay for you?
Just take a big deep breath. Paige, I'm feeling like your, your shoulders here, your traps up into your neck are pretty tense. Is that from, are you sitting a lot at work, looking at a screen? Okay, yeah, I can see that. That would be stressful. Have you had any headaches without having your glasses? Okay. Um, do you exercise regularly? Are you stretching? Okay, yeah, I th I'm gonna send you some videos and give you some stretches when we finish up that'll help. Take away some of the tension, loosen up. Pressure's still good for you. Are you ticklish? Not really, it's <laughs> always the part that makes me like, more of a little. So Paige, I'm glad that you're here. Um, you obviously have a lot of tension going on in your muscles and the, the power of the massage and the touch here, I'm putting a lot of pressure on your shoulders, but that's going to release that muscle. The muscle is going to, it's got proprioceptors in there and as I put the direct pressure, sometimes it's a little uncomfortable. I don't want you to have pain, but it might be a little uncomfortable, but then you'll feel that muscle release. And if at any time it's too much pressure, just let me know. I can already feel it's getting much better. And with more regular massage, um, I think you should probably uh, start out with maybe once a week. And as you get better and your muscles are more relaxed, you're feeling better, we can maybe go to a different schedule. Okay, Paige, I'm gonna have you slide down on the table about a foot, and then you're gonna slowly up, just turn over for me. So your head's gonna end up on the table, not on the, on the on, table. yeah, there you go, perfect, perfect. How's that, do you feel comfortable? your head heavy on the table, relax. Just take some deep breaths. It's so important to just take time for yourself throughout the day and take those big deep breaths, relaxing your body. So we have a lot of muscles that come up and attach right here at the back of the head. So sometimes it can feel a little tender especially when I press on it. So how are you feeling, Paige? I'm feeling very relaxed. Perfect. Especially in my like, upper head. Like, when you were doing the filming, it's just all like... Feels good. Yeah. Uh-huh. Up in the head. And we um, carry a lot of tension in our neck and heads, across skull, temples. So it's also really important, um, how much water are you drinking every day? Mm. <laughs> um, it, it kind of, if the day is really busy, I'll kind of not drink it, but if it's a chilly day, I'll drink a lot of water. So do you keep a water bottle with you? What I try to tell people is to uh, have a big water bottle. And right. um, do you have a desk job or what are you doing throughout uh, the day? Kind of both. Sometimes I could be at my desk all day. Um, I am a graphic designer, so okay. I can be at my desk like, all day. Um, I'm also engaged to a doctor, so oh, I can also nice. be on my toes all day too. So it's, you know, it's just a mix of both. 
Okay, but will you, if you're at your desk, you have access to a water bottle yes. that you can refill. Yes. I try to tell people with desk jobs to try to get up at least once an hour. Right. Um, fill up your water bottle, stretch, do some things so that your body's moving, not just sitting sedentary. So it's real important to drink probably at least half your body weight in ounces of water a day. It's a good gauge, good place to start. And then it really helps your muscles and your body. So I weigh about 100 pounds. So that would be how much? It's about 50 ounces. So. <laughs> it depends how my my best uh, suggestion is to get a water bottle that has a measurement on yeah. it. They sell the water bottles or it just tells you, like my water bottle holds 32 ounces, so I try to do two, at least two of them a day. So if you can get a water bottle, say you have a 20 ounce water bottle, maybe do three a day. And sometimes it's fun to add things to your water, like maybe some sliced lemon, cucumber, kind of change it up, maybe some fruit or mint. For some people that tell me they have trouble drinking water, I try to get them to add okay. something more fun right. that's still healthy. Right. What about caffeine? Are you drinking? Drink a lot of caffeine. You drink a lot yeah, of caffeine. So you actually need more water yeah. when you drink the caffeine. A lot of people think because they're drinking a cup of coffee, they're getting an extra eight ounces of water. But actually, caffeine's a diuretic, which means you're uh, you need more water to make up for that. So for each cup of coffee, you're gonna have to add eight ounces of water to that, what we just talked about, yes. <laughs> so maybe you could go to some alternative. Are you doing the caffeine to stay awake or is it just um, habit? In the morning, yes. Okay. Do you drink your coffee black? No, I usually drink it with milk. Okay. No sugar, just some milk? No sugar, just some milk. Good, perfect. Well, you can do decaf coffee. <laughs> That's an alternative. Or um, some teas. The green tea has a lot less caffeine. Or flavored water. <laughs> so you're engaged. Yes. That's it. Congratulations. Thank When's you. the wedding? It's September of next year. Of next year, yes. 2022. Mm -hmm. Perfect such a fun time planning, yes. <laughs> but can be stressful. So yeah. you've got to take time for yourself. Build out self-care in for sure. And when you say self-care, um, is there anything that you do uh, on like the everyday basis to kind of get that in? I'm a bath girl. So <laughs> I, especially with doing massage, um, love to take a bath in the evening. That relaxes my muscles. I put up some salt in the bath, just put on some soft music, just have some uninterrupted alone time. Um, but really, self-care can look different and can be a lot of different things for different people. It could be taking five minutes uh, to read a chapter of a book or you know, just go for a walk. Take a walk for yourself, maybe at lunchtime or in the evening. What do you like to do that helps you? Do you ever use face masks, maybe, for I, your I face? face? I, well, I, I, I do love skincare. I have a really big skincare um, collection, so I guess that could be considered self-care. Well, and you're taking time out for yourself right now, getting a massage, yes. relaxing. It's very important for your health. So do you usually type or are you using a mouse? when you're doing your yes. graphic design? Yes, I Typing in with a mouse, both. Do you have a good setup with your desk? It's, it's a lot better than that. Do you have a standing desk that you can utilize? Yes. And you use it? Perfect. Um, I, I just got it. So it's, again, it's just so important to be moving your body. We're not made to be creatures that just stay still. 
so our joints have fluid in them and that needs to be moved around so um, with desk jobs and uh, screens that we look at all day I would suggest utilizing that desk and standing up when you can and changing it up as often as you can and uh, like I said once an hour getting up stretching moving around filling your water bottle I would just set a timer and uh, once an hour take five minutes for yourself and you know, I know some people say, well, I can't, I'm busy, I'm in something, but you'll actually be more productive and feel better and get more done because you're healthier. For sure, you have to balance. Everything's about balance, but you gotta have good rest for your body to stay healthy. How many hours of sleep a night would you say you average? Eight to 10 hours a night? Oh, perfect. It's a lot of sleep. Wish I got that much. <laughs> you know, everybody's uh, body is different depending on age and what you do um, throughout the day, but uh, I would say seven to eight hours is a good, a good range, but more is great. As long as you're not sleeping too much. Yeah. <laughs> So are you right-handed? Yes. Okay. So this muscle, does it feel tight at all? A little bit tight. We use a lot of these muscles when we're typing or sitting at a desk. When was your last massage? too bad. Sometimes people come in and it's been years. <laughs> so um, do you have more than one monitor that you look at? So are you having to look to the side a lot or do you try to keep them eye level? And okay, perfect. Yeah, you don't wanna always be looking to one side or the other cause you'll, you'll get a tight neck. And definitely trying to keep them eye level so you're not looking up or down is the best. Are you gonna have a big wedding or? Uh, I'm not planning on it, but I just want something that's relaxed. You know? Family, like close stress. friends, yes. yeah. Yes. What about um, wedding party? Are you gonna have some bridesmaids? Honestly, I, I just kind of want to plan it all in one. <laughs> uh -huh. Like I just want it all in one. Gotcha. I, I really just want it to be a fun day. It's important. Lots of fun pictures to look back yeah, on exactly. and the memory. Right, right. I don't want it to be something that was stressful and everyone's just like, ah, oh, that wedding. And all. <laughs> <laughs> Are you having it indoor, or outdoor? Uh, we're planning on kind of maybe trying to do both. So uh huh. Could, because it will be in September. Okay. You never know if it'll rain or not. So. It's supposed to, to be good luck both. if it rains on your wedding day. <laughs> okay, fine. That's what I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I'm sure you'd rather stay dry in your beautiful wedding dress. So how are you feeling? A little more relaxed yeah, than more. before we started? A lot. How can you not be with this beautiful setting, huh? I know. <laughs> So, are you getting new glasses? Is that? Um, I'm actually going to consider a new laser eye surgery for the first time, just to see. Perfect. Because you, know, you know, having glasses is fun and all, but 
but uh, when you're cleaning or just doing anything, when you have to bend over, your glasses are falling, it's just, it's, it's not a fun time. So I actually had LASIK surgery well, not going. too far long ago. It was great. It was so easy and quick recovery and I don't have glasses anymore. And like you said, they, they're fun, but um, when I would do things like hiking and skiing and your glasses are fogging up and getting in the way. So it's been very freeing. And when you think about all the glasses that you lose and all the time you have to come in to get a new prescription, it just makes sense. Exactly. So are you a candidate or you're, you're going to see the doctor and decide? I'm going to see and uh -huh. decide. Perfect. Yeah, it took me several months before I made the decision, even after they said I could do it. I'm one of those that like to do my homework, right? Yeah, it is It is a little scary. It's your eyes. But if you have the, the right person, um, for me, it was wonderful. No regrets. Much better than when we started. So, like I said, I'm going to show you a few exercises, send you some videos that you can do that can help relieve that tension in the upper back, shoulders, and neck. So that next time, hopefully, <laughs> You'll start out less tense. Good? Yes, very good. Okay. Any questions for me? Thank you. I'll put all of my questions some more. Okay. <laughs> all of my questions some more. Yeah, well, I hope you'll keep coming and we can keep working on this and want to hear more about the wedding plans and how that's progressing, yeah. but be sure to keep taking time for yourself, yes. drinking lots of water, and moving, yes. especially when you're sitting at the desk. Use that standing desk for sure. So, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So this was excellent. We got the viewers a chance to see you in your art form and certainly ben Paige has benefited from, from all of that. I am so jealous at this moment. <laughs> but I, I think, again, it, it shows people that, you know, with the right uh, connection, you know, there's so much healing that can occur. And mm -hmm. I think it's fantastic to actually see that here in this beautiful environment on our last day of shooting in uh, Suquamish, right? Yes, Snoqualmie. Snoqualmie. good job, <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah, Snoqualmie, Snoqualmie Falls and everything around here. It's, uh, we, we'd love to hear more about your journeys. I understand that you're on a new phase and you'll be driving around the country uh, for soon. seven months. Yes. That's exciting. Yes. Uh, very excited for hearing more about what you, your journeys, you know, yeah. and documenting that. Great. I'm excited to meet people along the way and Absolute. talk about health. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank big you hug. so much. Yeah. Big hug. Group hug. Big group hug. Oh, no. I need a massage. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Sounds great. Until next time. Until next time. So uh, this is a wrap. Today was a lot of filming. We have uh, wrapped up with Kim, the massage therapist here in Soqualami, Washington. Uh, Paige uh, got a great massage, all nice and relaxed now. We're gonna call it a, call it a night and go eat some crab and uh, take a look at some uh, new shots for tomorrow. But otherwise, this trip to Washington State has been fantastic, meeting practitioners who really care for their patients. Uh, sharing stories, experiences. There's certainly many more stories to share and we hope those who are watching will want to share theirs as well. If you happen to find any of this interesting or more importantly if you want to collaborate check out the link below so that you can send us your comments, any stories you may have, anything. You know, we're happy to entertain it and uh, this is really about us going on a journey together.